Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I am really excited for today's video. One of my favorite things to do is at night come into my room, play with makeup. Sometimes I do it on camera and just appreciate makeup. You know, that is the core of my channel. I am a true makeup lover and I appreciate the aesthetics and the packaging of the brand. So we're just going to be playing with some brands that I feel like put so much love and thought into their products and the packaging. It sounds dumb, but that is what I love about makeup. So I'm excited to just play with pretty makeup really today. I'm really excited because today's video is sponsored by Florisys, who in my opinion is the epitome of aesthetic makeup. Like you guys were actually the reason that I tried Florisys in the first place. You recommended them to me when I asked for some pretty makeup brands and you guys did not lead me astray. Okay, they literally have the most beautiful makeup I've ever seen. So I'm gonna be playing with some new products from them as well as just a lot of other good, beautiful makeup products. Now, if you've never heard of Florisys before, they are a Chinese makeup brand and they are all about bringing this Eastern beauty aesthetic to the global market and developing healthy and nourishing cosmetic products and herbal extracts and a lot of other caring ingredients. The word flora and Florisys actually stands for flower because they do use flower essence in all of their products. I'm really excited to show you their new items and I'm really excited to just play with makeup. So let's get into it. Let's start off with my skin. I was picking at my skin today, hence the pimple, but I wanted to play with the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. This is a classic primer and this isn't even the prettiest version. This, this is a sample, but let me show you. Do you see the little gold flecks running in through the primer? How beautiful is this? When I run out of the sample, I do want to purchase the full size. If it's so beautiful in the sample packaging, I mean, imagine how beautiful it is when you actually buy the product. And I like this because it really does blur the skin. I don't know if you can see as I am applying it on the pores, it really is kind of blurring them away. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. You don't really see too much of of the gold flecks on the skin, but it does leave the skin feeling really, really smooth. And it does a good job of leaving that blurred base right here. Really, really love this. Super pretty. I do not use this enough, but if we're talking in terms of a beautiful aesthetic, when it comes to primer, YSL will always win this. Let's move on to foundation. And one of my favorite lines that has the best packaging is easily Gucci Beauty. So this is the Gucci Beauty foundation. Unfortunately, I'm probably not as big of a fan of the product inside as I am with the packaging of Gucci. Now, their complexion product in particular right here, very simple packaging, but it fits within the whole line that really creates a beautiful, soft, ethereal aesthetic. So I wanted to pull it out because it's super heavy and it's just really, really nice. Unfortunately, this shade is too light for me, so I'm gonna mix in a little bit of my ABH foundation because I love the two formulas mixed together and I like the formula. The formulas mix together really well and as well as creates a good color for me, but you know, the packaging of the ABH might not be all bad, <laughs> but they really do work well together as you can see. And the Gucci leaves a nice kind of essence that you can smell when applying that I really, really love. So I'm just going to blend this in. Okay, foundation is on while this kind of sets down. I want to talk about the collection from Florisys that we are using today. It's called the Impression of Dye and it truly is the most beautiful collection that I've seen them come out with. So the inspiration of this collection is from the filigree jewelry of Dai who live in the Yunnan province of China. It's crafted to celebrate unique Dai aesthetics and you can truly see that within the products. So the first product that I am going to use is the Moisturizing Ginseng Lip Mask. Now this is a lip mask, so they do suggest that you apply a thick layer over your lips at night. And then if you use it during the day, apply a thin layer over the lips. It's going to help exfoliate and minimize lip lines. It's extremely comfortable and hydrating. It feels quite weightless and breathable and has a nice soft minty smell. And I'm putting this on before I do my makeup so that once it comes time 
to put on lip products. The lip products are going to apply easier and look better. I also do have a lip scoop that you can use if you're more sanitary than me, but I like to just lather it on with my fingers. Mm, but that feels really nice. Now, you know a makeup brand is all about the aesthetics when even their eyebrow pencil is so beautifully crafted. So this is the Floral Eyebrow Define Powder Pencil. It is absolutely stunning. So this case is adorned with delicate patterns which are inspired by the dye people's peacock totem and decorative pillars celebrating exquisite, dynamic, and inspiring dye art. And all of the packaging in this collection does have a story behind it. So they say that this is formulated with 75% powder. I tend to love Eastern eyebrow pencils. I prefer that more powdery texture. So one side is going to have a spoolie and then the other side has a nice angled tip which I like. It also does come with a complimentary refill for the color that you pick out. Here's how the strokes are looking. Oh yeah, it's definitely a drier pencil, which I like because I really do feel like that creates more natural hair-like strokes. Let's test it out. And you don't have to press hard at all to get to show up in your eyebrows. I love this one. It's not too creamy. I like that it's a little bit more powdery because I think it's easier to control and that makes it look more natural. Literally looks like true hair strokes. Okay, yeah, so we definitely have a good one for this. Love this eyebrow pencil. It's the perfect consistency for me. We're a fan of this one. For concealer, the prettiest, most luxurious packaging that I have is from Tom Ford. This is a shade and illuminate concealer. Oh my gosh, this concealer is so good. The formula itself is as good as the packaging. The packaging itself is super heavy, super luxe. I think it's beautiful. I find that not a lot of brands put much effort into their concealer packaging but this is one where I feel like they really did a great job and put the extra thought behind the component itself which I personally appreciate especially you know if you're paying $90 for this they better put some thought behind that concealer but I mean the formulation on this is beautiful as much as it hurts me to admit it because you guys know I do love a good Tom Ford trash talk every now and then but I can't do it with this concealer you know it is just so so beautiful. So I have a couple different powders to choose from. I'm gonna do one on each side to see if there is one that I prefer, but I know you want me to talk about this, right? So this is another one from the Florisys collection. It is so beautiful. This is the Fairy Peach Blossom Pressed Powder. I know I love the Florisys powder formula. I have one that I use all the time. Take a closer look at this packaging and just appreciate how beautiful and intricate this is and it just gets better look at this is this not the most beautiful powder that you've ever seen so this contains silk powder and features particle sized 5 to 10 microns. It's extremely finely ground powder, which is supposed to give your skin a delicate and smooth touch. So there is a mint green side, which is supposed to correct redness, and then the pink side is supposed to correct yellowish tones, and then you combine both, and it's going to give you more of a translucent finish. But first, I just want you to stare at the beauty that is this powder. Like, I don't want to use this. How can I? It is stunning, but we will, we must. I was wondering how they created such an intricate design, and I'm reading, and it says they created the delicate ornament on the top by using a filigree, which is that jewelry technique, and engraved the pressed powder with three-dimensional miniature patterns. Oh my gosh, okay. I wanna talk about the brushes that I'm using because how fun is this? So I get asked all the time, where are these shiny brushes from? They're from the brand Blinged Brushes and Blinged Brushes just came out with a collaboration with Ali Dawson on these beautiful hand bejeweled brushes. Aren't these absolutely everything? Oh my gosh, I love Blinged Brushes a little bit too much to the point where I almost don't wanna use their brushes because they're so beautiful but we're gonna use these today, but congratulations.
congratulations, Ali. These are so stunning. I am going to start off with the green and I'm going to put it over my cheek because I do get a little bit red here. And I'm only going to do it on one cheek <laughs> because I do have another powder that I want to play with. And then I am going to mix the two and I'm going to set the under eye. This is the F34 brush, by the way, in case you wanted to buy the brush individually. This is such a universal brush shape. You can use it for so many different things. You'll see there's no kickback with this powder. Look how beautifully that set the face. Wow. It got rid of the oils and kind of smoothed everything out. As much as I didn't want to use this powder, the product itself is good too. So that's good. <laughs> Let's move on to the other powder that I have. This is the Gorgeous Peach Blossom Powder. So to open it, you twist it and it opens. So it has a little lock, which is kind of nice. So if you put it in a purse, it's not going to explode everywhere. You have a puff. And then what it's going to expose is actually the most blurring, finely milled powder ever. And it's supposed to just blur this area right here. So we are going to test that out. I'm going to take the powder puff that they gave me. Oh wow, this is also absolutely stunning, dang. Florisys creates a good powder, I'm not gonna lie. All of their powders are extremely finely milled and very smoothing and blurring to the skin. I notice this powder has a little bit less sheen, so if you want something a little bit more sheen-like, I would go with the powder that I'm using right now. Dang, I cannot get over how light and fine the powder is. And I do feel like it did a good job of keeping the integrity of the foundation and concealer underneath in terms of the shine power here. So it does catch me as something that is just going to control the oils really. Absolutely beautiful if you're looking for a nice lightweight powder. Okay, I did want to bronze my face a little bit and I had to go with my most beautiful bronzer in my collection, which of course had to be the Gucci bronzer. I'm gonna use the F32 brush from the Blinged Brushes collection and I'm gonna use this to kind of sculpt and add a little bit of color to the face before we get to the eyes and the eyeshadow palette that I'm using you guys is going to uh, knock your socks off I'm not even kidding this bronzer is really really nice this brush is really great for a more precise application don't you think these brushes are so beautiful to display as well I highly recommend the blinged brushes I think they're just so fun to own and the brushes themselves are quite soft as well like they're they're definitely good quality, usable, all of that, functional, but I don't even like using them because they're so pretty to look at, but... <laughs> Oh, absolutely beautiful. And this bronzer, by the way, I have the shade number one. Really great color for myself. Okay, let's hop on over back to the eyes. We gotta talk about this because I literally gasped when I opened this. So here is what the packaging looks like. And there's a huge inspiration behind this palette that I'm gonna show you, but first, get ready to like, I don't know, die. Ready, ready, ready? Oh my gosh. And I know Florisys has a good eyeshadow formula from what I've used in the past, so I'm excited to dig into this. We will swatch it for you guys. But the inspiration of this, I needed to know, is inspired by the twins' concept of a dye people's totem peacock and Florisys. The two peacocks are leaning together as the main visual and combined with jewelry elements, pearlescent, mic pearlescent, illusion matte, and other eyeshadow texture. It is matched with relief craftsmanship to highlight the beautiful and flexible characteristics of the dye people. Alrighty then, let me swatch these really quickly. Oh, these feel good. Okay, let me see. Ooh, okay, so the mattes here feel nice and soft, like they're gonna be blendable, not too much pigmentation. But that's not a bad thing if they're buildable. And then that shimmer, let me try a couple more. Wait, let me show you this. Okay, so this is what's on my finger. The shimmers here. Super good. Ooh, look at that. It's like a pretty duochrome-esque kind of shade here. And then this matte. Wow, I don't know why I swatched it like that. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna do one eye and then I'm gonna be back to show you how I did it. But this is actually quite a neutral, warm palette now that I have it swatched in my arm. Very user-friendly, great everyday tones. So let's test it out. Like, wait a minute. Look at this look. Look at it. This is my favorite favorite florist's palette. It's the most beautiful. It's the most me. Okay, let me show you how I did it. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. With the E31 blinged brush, we're going into this shade right here. You're not gonna get any kickback from these shades and I'm using this as my transition shade. One thing about the mattes is that I find they are very beginner friendly. They aren't too pigmented but you can build them up but what's great about them is how easily they blend. They don't over blend. Sometimes with shadows you think they're blendable but really the truth to the matter is they're just blending away. <laughs> Not with these. They are very easy to use. They have a great level of pigmentation for beginners beginners and they go exactly where you blend them to go. Super pretty. This is the perfect transition color. It's oddly a unique shade. I don't feel like I have a transition color like this. I love the shape of this brush. This is an E33 brush and we're going into the dark shade. So this is where you're going to see the payoff with this shadow. It gives good payoff and no mess at all. You might have to build it up just a little bit, but it's fine because it blends out super easily and you can see it builds easily as well. I'm going to put this along the entire lower lash line you see how perfect the shape of this brush is wow so I'm just placing the color down first and I don't know if you can see but I kind of blended out this dark shade so I'm gonna create a little winged out shape and then we're going back into the first brush that we use and we're going to work it out I actually just forgot and went in a little bit more here with that dark brown. Okay, back to blending we go. Let's get into the good stuff now. So I'm using this stunning mauve kind of bluish green duochrome shade. I wish this was bigger <laughs> because I need more of this eyeshadow. I'm gonna put this all over the, let's say inner half of the eyelid. I'm using my finger to press it on. It's very reflective. It's gonna look beautiful in the evening time. Oh my goodness. I love these eyeshadows. I'm getting zero follow. This is a must have. I'm obsessed. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going into this darker green shade, which you can see is quite pigmented. I'm gonna put this on the outer half of the eyelid with my finger. I want it to blend into that lid shade because the two go very well together. Because of the green shimmers in the lid shade, the two look super cohesive. You'll see we have this tiny little green teardrop here. It's like a nice lime green gold. I'm just going to put this in the center of the eyelid to meet the two shades together. Again, another situation where I wish there was more of it because it's so pretty. Like I need more of it. <laughs> I'm going to take an E37 brush. This is also a really fabulous shape. Um, and I'm going to go into this green shade right here. I'm lining the inner half of my lower lash line to pull the green together for this look. We're gonna go back into the brown just to bring a little bit of depth back into the look, particularly in the outer corner of the lower lash line and in the outer corner on the eyelid. And I noticed this eye is just a little bit deeper, so I wanna kind of match that energy over on this eye. And then we're gonna take my sponge that I used for foundation application. We're just gonna clean up the shape. And then one last thing, I'm taking the E32 brush and we have a lot of this shimmery cream shade. Like I wish we could switch out the green and the cream, but the cream shade will also probably be used a lot. So I don't know, but I'm using this for the inner corner. I'm speechless. The dimension, it's a softer eyeshadow palette. If you love your eyeshadows super heavily pigment packed, these do have pigment in it, don't get me wrong, but it's intentional, like that intentional elegance. Think of like Tom Ford, how they're not super pigment packed and that almost makes it look even more ethereal and beautiful on the eyelid. Holy, like I thought the eyeshadow palette was beautiful enough, but on the eyes. I hope they come out with more like this. This is even more beautiful than it is in the photos. Wow, okay. <laughs> Let's move on to the next product for blush. One of the most beautiful products that I've been using lately and that was new and I'm still very excited to be using is this by Terry palette. This is the Brightening CC palette in the shade Beach Balm. All of these blushes are just stunning on the face and they have this beautiful floral embossing. Absolutely love it. A true luxury blush formula. I think for my eye look today, I'm going to use this shade. This has a beautiful sweet floral scent to it that I really love and this shade looks scary but on the cheek it's absolutely stunning. I'm using the F33 from Blinged Brushes so this is gonna keep the look a little bit more neutral but you can see 
there's a rosy hue to it. It has a little bit of a sheen that's really beautiful. I've been loving this palette. I think the formulations are stunning. The colors are stunning. This is the kind of color that gives you like that bronzy glow. I don't know if you can see that, but it's absolutely beautiful. I do want a little bit more of a pop to my cheek though. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which pulls a little bit pinker on the cheek. I'm just going to apply that right to the apple. A little extra pop to the look. Wow. I didn't realize how pretty of a glow these gave. Oh, I love this blush palette too. This is also a must have. And then for a highlight, we have this Peach Blossom Carved Flower Pattern Highlighter. Really beautiful. This highlighter is enriched with pearl ingredients. It's supposed to be smooth and seamless and hide pores. It's enriched with apricot and peach petal ingredients. Very, very interesting. It's supposed to be gentle and brightening for nourishing skin. So let's swatch it. Oh, that is creamy. Okay, I thought it was going to feel like a baked gelée but it's it's not it's more of a powder so i think that's going to carry beautifully as a highlight on the skin oh yeah mm, i'm excited for this i'm going to use the f35 brush because this is more of a powder based highlight i think something softer would be pretty that's gorgeous listen the first time i used florsis i loved their products I thought they were really great. This collection, they are knocking it out of the park. Everything is so luxurious. Just the most beautiful makeup. I think the first time that I did a video on their products, I titled the video, you know, like the most beautiful makeup ever. They've one up themselves. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. Very glowy, so you have to like a glowy highlighter, but dang. I love this, okay. Let me go off camera. I'm gonna do some liner lashes and I want to create kind of a more cat eye effect. I think I'm gonna use my Heen Dash eyeliner, Pat McGrath, Dark Star Mascara, and then whatever lashes I decide. And then we'll be back to finish the lips. I am obsessed with this look. That's all I have to say. Let's play with probably the most luxe packaging. These remind me of, is it the Caroline Herrera lipsticks? These give me that same vibe. They are, ugh, disgustingly beautiful. So this is like definitely not just a lipstick. It's a piece of artwork. It really, really is. It says it inherits the Chinese concentric lock culture. So how it works is at the bottom, you push this lock, boom out pops the lipstick and I need you to like look at this. I haven't used or swatched this yet because why would I? This is one of my favorite things about Florisys. I absolutely am obsessed with their lipsticks because the formula is really good but the embossing it's so detailed. Like how? I don't want to use it. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys but let me get a video on my phone so that I can have it forever. Hold on. <laughs> I need to have this documented forever. Yeah. So beautiful, look at that. Insane. Okay, so this color is M9213. Let me swatch it for you. This is the more wearable of the two. Sorry, my bones in my hands are making it skippy, but look at that. This has like a beautiful soft matte finish. You can see there still is a little bit of a glow to it. I think this is going to be the one for today. I do have a little bit of the Nabla lip liner in nude number three. So let's see. Feels pretty hydrating for a matte lip. You can see there's a little bit of a satinness to it. Oh, I'm so sad I ruined the top of this. This lip is so perfect for this eye look. Feels pretty hydrating. It's not like a dry matte lipstick at all. Stunning formula. Really beautiful. Okay, I love that shade. And now put it back in. Boom. Let's look at the other shade. Gonna click on the lock. Boom. Ooh. <laughs> God, I love this makeup brand. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So again, with the beautiful details, like you don't want to use these, you guys. Don't want to use these, you know? Okay, let's swatch it. Yeah, it has that same texture as the first one. I mean, a red lip would go. I want to use this now. This is the shade M9420. Let's just do it. I truly cannot help myself. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. 
I mean, this still goes with the look. It is stunning. So again, this is M9420. This is the best collection from Florisys ever. Not a single miss. Oh my goodness. I'm going to mix a little bit of M9213 in the middle. It's kind of, I suppose, neutralize it a little bit. Look. Yeah, that looks good. My goodness. All right, let me collect myself and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. Oh, you guys know how playing with makeup at night is just like a therapy session for me. I feel fantastic. I am so shocked by the products that I use today. I'm not just saying that because this video is sponsored. I want you guys to know, like, oh my gosh. I mean, first of all, I just use all generally beautiful products to begin with that just make the experience so much more fun for me. Must-haves. I mean, everything that I tried from Florisys today was just incredible. If you haven't experienced Florisys, I would totally recommend the pieces that just feel the most luxe even though all of it does. But this eyeshadow palette, I am blown away by. It's so soft and beautiful and glimmery. It's just a very refined formula, truly. Not to mention the packaging and the story behind every piece, really, it's so thoughtful. This is truly such a luxurious makeup brand. The lipsticks, I mean, if you want a piece of luxe, powders are so soft and beautiful. I love all of their powders. Hands down, amazing collection from Florisys, my favorite by far. And then these dang bling brushes made the experience even more fun because they're gorgeous. Again, Ali, you did fantastic. Love the shapes you picked. Love blinged brushes, brush shapes, and the beautiful... I'm in heaven tonight. I made a very good choice of this video. The highlight, I forgot the highlight. The highlight is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Everything in this video was just incredible. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little therapy session of mine playing with some beautiful makeup. Again, a huge thank you to Florisys for sponsoring today's video. I will have a link down below to all of the products. They definitely are a brand worth trying out. Truly was a pleasure to get to work with them. Dang, I feel good. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because I am in the middle of Vlogmas, so I am uploading every single day. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.